start with the bathroom, start with something a little bit smaller so you can get used to it, and then go right into the kitchen. Wonderful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not even doing introductions. Are we on Facebook Live? We are. Hello. Courtney's such a superstar, she's on stage. Look at her, in her element. In my element. It's a nice Sunday here at the Rochester Home and Garden Show. We have a lot going on. We're going to do a couple demos today. So right now we have Hannah painting a dresser. Or actually, I think it's a fan. And Abusan Blue. This one is going to be my favorite piece of the show because we're going to have some wood left there with the Abusan, which I think is a great combination. That one's going to be awesome. We're just going to finish it off with clear wax and some copper uh, handles for it. Will you use Annie's gilding? We're gonna use, yeah, we're gonna use Annie's gilding wax on the handles so that we can change the color of them. So they're a little tarnished. I don't know where I put them, but a little tarnished, so we're gonna add some gilding to bring them back to life. I love this color. I love all I like this dress. You know what I'm wondering? Once you get that paint on that one section, yep. if we get a wet wipe, maybe wipe off some of the paint from that wood design. Yeah. Get some distress in there? Does that sound okay to you? Absolutely. Even while the paint's wet, I might actually grab that. Do we have wet wipes? I'll get it for you. Okay. I'll get it. A Amy, can you get some a package of wet wipes for Hannah? I think because that is such a pretty yeah. uh, design element. Yeah. This is a really pretty color. Um, I, oh, the right. It's a it's a gorgeous. How would you describe this blue? Okay. That is um, so it's pretty. a deep teal color. I'd almost like a peacock blue, but I know people mix. But not a bright. Bit of, yeah. But not a bright blue. People will mix a little bit of Florence with the Abusan to make more of a peacock blue, but it really is a nice deep teal color. Yeah, I think so too. Ready? Yeah. So okay. while we're doing, we're just gonna try to lift some of that paint off because we want to show some of that wood, and even if you get some of the flat section, you can always touch it up. Yeah. Maybe do it kind of heavy if you can in that because I just think I don't know if that's what they had in mind, but. I love that. Yeah, open to suggestions. I think that looks awesome. Yeah, me too. How easy that was. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for Beautiful. thanks for entertaining that. Yeah. Um, I could see the crud cutter on top. You cleaned the piece prior. Yeah, I did, and then I did a a little bit of fresh water too, just to get anything left behind. To remove any soap residual. Yeah. Okay. So here we are at the Rochester, New York Home Show. What we're doing is promoting our our services and the products. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the services we provide? We will paint your furniture. We have sign-ups for kitchen cabinets. So um, every piece of furniture that we've done so far, besides one, is a customer piece. We actually had a contest for our customers. They submitted photos of their pieces that they had, and some lucky winners got chosen. They're up on stage today. Uh, so we're doing those. If you want a quote, you can always send us pictures of your furniture, and we can talk to you about what you want done to it. We also do kitchen cabinets, so if you're in our area, of course we can't go out of state for cabinets, but if you're in our local area, we are able to be hired out to do your kitchen cabinets. So if your kitchen cabinets are old, need a little bit of updating, you can always send us pictures, dimensions, and we can help you out with it. What product do we use? We use chalk paint by Annie Sloan. I gotta just tell you one thing. Your hands positioned perfectly, not now, but they were, it looked like you were holding that can. Oh my god. It was perfect and then I lost it. That was so funny. But chalk paint is a water-based paint that goes on pretty much any surface without any sanding, stripping, or priming. And we're not kidding when we say this. You're funny. You're funny. Thanks, Courtney. Yeah. Hi, Amy. What are you doing over here? We're doing make and take today. We can uh, create a little mason jar. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Isn't that fun? So people can just come. There's no cost for it. It's completely free. Okay. Yeah. And tell me about this large container. That's cool. That's your it that's your baby. Well, right. I did steal it from Pinterest. But yes, that was my creation. Cool. Okay, I'm going to walk around and just kind of show everybody our space. Okay. Um, afterwards, do you want to... Can I give you the spiel on the dresser? Because that way people can actually hear me. Oh, so yeah. that's the before photo. That's what it looked like yesterday morning. Get out of here. No joke. Did that yesterday? We did that. We did this whole piece in two hours. Oh my god. So um, it, we picked it up on the curb. Basically, that's the piece. Yeah. And then we painted it using obviously the chalk paint that we're selling. You can see the big cans. Yeah. And that's the color Florence. 
It's a beautiful teal color. And then after we were done painting, we left the hardware right on there. Yeah. We painted right over it. Once we were all done painting, um, we distressed some of the edges. Yeah. And then, do you see these flowers on the front? Right. So those are transfers. They're okay. so easy to use. So if you oh, check this out, yep, yeah, they come in all different styles. They're called Iron Orchid Design uh, Transfers. And this one is really cool. We did that. It's like a cool like mermaid, sea queen thing. Um, and have you ever done the Easter eggs where you transfer yeah. a design onto mm -hmm. an Easter egg? That is how easy it is to use these Iron Orchid design transfers. Awesome. So we put that on and then we did a clear wax top coat right over it. The mirror was missing when I got this, so we just hung up a little kind of bohemian quilt. And voila. Yeah. It's fantastic. You guys were awesome. Thanks for listening. No Thank you. Have a good day. You worked hard to get this all set up. You gotta be enjoying it, right? So Hannah, are we painting the drawers or what's the plan on the dresser? So the top two drawers we're going to leave natural wood. We're actually going to take a little bit of dark wax, almost use it like a stain. There's some scratches on there so that'll fill it in and uh, kind of make it blend in nicely in those areas. So you'll use Annie Sloan's dark wax yes. just directly on the wood? Yeah, you can absolutely do that. So you don't have to paint and use the wax? No, you can use it right over the wood. Um, it's a uh, furniture wax in itself, so you can use it over furniture to seal it or stain it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Okay, and this is the color Abusan Blue, you said? Yes, I love it. Cool. That's going to look awesome. Okay, well, I just thought we'd show a little bit of the home show. And if you live in Rochester, New York, or anywhere around, come on down. You can do a, a free make and take. Um, like we said, it's just a painted mason jar. We'll just distress it. You can wax it. But here you go. This is our space. You can't miss us. We're right in the beginning. Courtney, say goodbye. Goodbye.